Hi everyone, it's Dr. Damien. In today's video, I wanted to take you through a step-by-step -step approach of how you can create your very first Google Ads campaign. The first thing that you need to do is to create a Google Ads account. I think most of you have already done that, but if not, go see my other video about how you can create a Google Ads account without entering in any credit card details. Once you've done that, you need to go to Google Ads. Once you're in Google Ads, you'll have the option of creating your very first campaign. And click over here on the left on the Campaigns tab. Then there'll be two options, a blue plus button or a blue plus that says New Campaign. This will open your first page where Google will ask you, what is the objectives of your new campaign? The objectives of your new campaign really are going to depend on the type of online business that you have. If your online business is an e-retailer, then chances are your ultimate objective is sales. You want to increase your sales online. There are many other types of businesses that have a web presence so, and their ultimate goal is often leads. Maybe they want to obtain the email address or phone numbers of potential customers. Another goal might be website traffic. This is where we're trying to just drive traffic to our website, but not ultimately result in sales. So media companies often have this type of objective and often they try to obtain their traffic uh, through display advertising. For our example that we talked about in class, we were looking at a top to bottom cleaning service company, essentially a maid service. So if they had a paid service, a paid search ad, it's likely that they want someone who clicks on the ad and goes to the website to actually result in ordering and booking a maid service from the firm. So we'll consider this a sale. The second type of campaign choice that you have here is whether you want to have your ad showed as a paid search ad, that is um, that you have your ad on the top of Google's search results, or a display ad, which might be a banner ad, uh, that is displayed around the, the web uh, on other media sites. You also have other options such as YouTube ads, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to choose search ads because we're looking at creating a paid search ad. Next up, uh, you'll have the choice of uh, what is your ultimate goal? What are we trying to achieve? Um, and we want to do that by getting people to come to our website. Uh, so we're going to click this one and we have to write in our business's website name and also uh, phone calls. And here we would have to put the phone number of our company. There it is. There's the URL for top to bottom cleaning services in UAE. Also included their phone number and changed the area code to the UAE. After you've done that, uh, click continue. On the next page that shows up, you're going to need to title your campaign. I'm going to call this top to bottom cleaning. Uh, then you go, you'll get asked uh, what sort of networks you would want your paid search ad on. Uh, we don't want it on the display network and we're just going to keep it on Google so we don't necessarily want to use the Google search partners in this instance. Uh, the next question is around targeting and the audiences that you want to reach. Now, by default, uh, because of my last uh, paid search campaign, um, I'm targeting Abu Dhabi location. It probably makes sense because uh, top to bottom cleaning is actually based here in Abu Dhabi. But you can easily uh, change uh, this around uh, to suit your needs. So here, this would extend my reach uh, quite considerably if I type in the country of the UAE. Uh, we also have the option of language. Now, because the website is in English and because people are searching in English, um, obviously it makes sense to have our ads in English. Uh, but we may also want to consider uh, other languages, uh, particularly Arabic here in the UAE. But it would probably only make sense if your website was also in Arabic. Uh, next up, we have um, audiences. Um, so in my case, I don't really have any particular psychographics that I think are that relevant. Uh, to having a maid service, a house cleaner come through. Um, but if you were selling, say, fashion or travel or sporting equipment, um, you could look at targeting by particular psychographic measures that Google are obtaining from your previous search history and from your, from your preferences. 
then we get to the question of budget. Now in class, we talked about having a relatively small budget um, to make, to get started and building from that uh, as you start to refine your ads and you actually um, start to uh, make, design them better and make some progress. Um, now you don't want to make this number too small or you're really not going to see much traffic at all. So, you know, let's say cost per click of, uh, you know, four or five dirhams. Um, if we're going to get four or five people come to our website a day, um, then maybe we want to be uh, putting in at least 30, 40 dirhams. Um, so we'll say 40 dirhams a day on average uh, for our paid search. Okay. Um, uh, then uh, we ask a question about uh, what do we want to focus on now uh, for our goal here it's about sales which is ultimately conversions uh, but if you have a different goal particularly for the assignment uh, you might want to reconsider uh, what that focus is on uh, we'll leave uh, the rest of this blank here now uh, for one of the activities I asked you uh, to create some extensions for the website uh, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. Uh, so I'll click on extension and I'll automatically fill this in. Ta-da! Okay, uh, here we go. I've uh, written some extensions, uh, house cleaning, certified housekeepers, flexible times and final URL. So my title here is house cleaning and my value propositions are the certified and flexible times. I've done similar extensions for their carpet cleaning page, uh, their window cleaning page, and their mattress cleaning page. Um, I also have a call out extension, which is based on the phone number that we provided before. Uh, I won't bother adding any more extensions for now. Okay, next up, um, we need to uh, talk about um, creating an ad group. So I'm gonna call my first ad group uh, top to bottom cleaning again. Um, so uh, these are the keywords that um, Google is suggesting uh, based on the website URL that we've provided here. Now we've actually done a, a keyword analysis using Google's keyword finder. Um, so uh, we can go back to that video tutorial and you actually came up, or we came up with some uh, keywords that we might want to use. Uh, so I think they were uh, house cleaning service, uh, maid uh, service, um, house um, uh, keeper, uh, something like this. Um, now, as we discussed in the lecture, um, what we need to think about here is whether we want to use a broad match, phrase match, exact match, or a modified match. So with the house cleaning services uh, written like this, uh, it's going to be a broad match. So, um, you know, any synonyms, uh, misspellings, uh, anything that, that resembles house cleaning services is going to get picked up. Uh, similar for, for maid service and similar for, for a housekeeper. Um, so, um, you know, if I had written in here, um, uh, home cleaning uh, service, um, maybe we want to make sure those two words go together, uh, home cleaning. So we would put um, an exact match, uh, which would be to use the brackets. So we make home cleaning come together here and now uh, that has to be an exact match for that keyword, home cleaning, okay? Um, so we wouldn't get uh, other variations of that. Now, maybe we do want other variations because maybe we want uh, villa cleaning services um, or clean my villa, uh, you know, clean my house. Um, so you need to consider uh, the, the, whether you're going to use exact match, the phrase match or the broad match. Um, and I think uh, as you play around with this, you'll get better at it. And you can actually go back into the Google's keyword uh, planner and actually refine this. Um, okay, we're gonna click save and continue for now. Uh, and now it is time to actually create the ads. So just like you did in the uh, mock ad uh, activity where you actually entered in um, the headline and the display path and the description 
uh, we're going to do it again here. Uh, now I'm just going to cheat and uh, copy some of the ads that you actually created uh, and they should appear now. Okay, that took a while. Kids are now fed and in bed uh, and it's dark outside. Uh, so here you have my uh, three ads, one, two, three. Uh, the first one here, you've got my final URL. Uh, that's the page that the uh, clicking on the ad is going to take you. Uh, the first headline is May service, made service. So I've used a keyword uh, that I think uh, is going to be used when people search. That's really important. Uh, headline two, I've used the company's name, top to bottom. It's always good to put the company's brand name inside the headline. Probably headline two or headline three. Use the keyword uh, as your first headline. Uh, and headline three, house cleaning service, another keyword that I've slipped in there, um, trying to be as specific as possible about what the company actually offers. Um, then I have the display path. So the display path is what's going to show up on the ad. It's not my actual URL. Click on the, the link and it's actually just going to take me to the home page. Uh, but the display path has uh, the keywords cleaning and service in it as well. Um, so if someone types in cleaning or service, in their search, they should um, uh, be in bold. Um, then we have my descriptions, Abu Dhabi's number one housekeeping service, satisfaction 100% guaranteed. So these are both value propositions, uh, being the number one housekeeping service and that is 100% guaranteed. Uh, we also have uh, that it's certified um, and we have professional maids, uh, another value proposition and book online today for an appointment tomorrow. Uh, this is clearly a call to action. So I've uh, applied the three basic principles of writing effective ads, uh, doing uh, keyword research and using those keywords in the ads, um, uh, clearly stating the value propositions and having call to action as well. Uh, we can see with this ad, I've done something very similar. This time I've just changed the headline around to house cleaning. Uh, I've used top to bottom cleaners uh, and in, uh, as the company's name and Abu Dhabi's best made service. So I have uh, my value proposition uh, in the headline. Uh, here's the display path. I've got some keywords made and service inside. Uh, the description again, uh, full of value propositions and description to call cool now, uh, get 30% off your first three bookings. Uh, you can see here what it looks like on mobile and what it looks like on the desktop. Uh, we also have a responsive search ad option. Uh, you can play around with this. Essentially, what ad shows up is going to depend partly on what people search for. Um, I do recommend having at least two ads, uh, and that way you can uh, trial some A-B testing. So essentially, uh, after the results of your first campaign, uh, you'll be able to see which one performed better, whether it's this one, or whether it is that one. And so you'll quickly realize whether perhaps uh, these keywords are working more effectively uh, than these keywords. Once we've created your ads, uh, click done, and save and continue, and we're all done. Okay, congratulations, uh, your campaign is ready. Uh, so we here we have our campaign. Uh, we probably should have played around with the dates. Now, uh, when you do create your campaign, uh, you're supposed to create a campaign for one week, a one week period uh, in October or November. So select a week and make sure that you budget uh, for your campaign to be over that week. Now, I think your budget was around 350 dirhams. Uh, so think about how you're going to use that budget over the course of a week. Um, think about your location as well. Think about your goals uh, and language uh, and your bid strategy. So we click on to continue, continue to campaign and we'll see the overview of our campaign. Uh, right now we're in the ad groups area, but probably the easiest way to do this is to click on overview. Uh, and you can see here, uh, we have our keywords that we're using uh, and we have our ads. We can click through them, add one, add two, add three, uh, and the locations that we're targeting. Uh, now one more thing. Uh, Go back to the keyword planner tutorial video that I, that I created uh, and you can have a better play around with ad groups and look at it, how we could also use negative keywords. Uh, but we can also do that through here. So if we click on the ad groups, click on keywords, 
Uh, and you can see these are the keywords that we have in our ad group, clean my house, house cleaning service, maid service, etc. Again, we want to refine this. Uh, I've done a pretty poor job. Um, you know, you want to think about the exact matches, broad matches, uh, what it is that you're exactly trying to achieve. Um, but you also want to include some negative keywords. And I think in the assignment I asked uh, to include perhaps 10 negative keywords. Uh, just verify that when you look at the assignment guidelines. Uh, so if you click on add negative keywords here, uh, you might want to include uh, maybe um, you know, industrial uh, cleaning services or uh, restaurant cleaning services. Um, you know, things that uh, if people type these words in, um, you know, uh, full-time maid, uh, you know, so a full-time maid service, you know, you don't offer that, you only offer an hourly maid service. So if they're typing in that, don't waste uh, showing your ad to these people. Um, so we click save, we'll add that to the group, and now we have uh, some negative keywords inside our ad group. Okay, guys, I hope that makes sense. Thanks for sticking with me. It's taken a while, my kids have interrupted. It was daytime when I started and it's nighttime now. Um, good luck with the assignments. If you have any questions, just ask Dr. Tim or myself. Uh, we can set up a meeting online. We can talk about it. Uh, I hope you do well. Make sure you read the assignment guidelines and apply the assignment instructions to the project as well. Okay. So